Welcome to Dark Knight Films Reviews. I am your host, Matt Spies, and today we are looking at Leatherface, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3, released in 1990. Leatherface, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3, stars R.A. Mihailov, Kate Hodge, Viggo Mortensen, William Butler, Ken Foray, Joe Unger, Tom Everett, Miriam Bird Nethery, Jennifer Banco, Tony Hudson, and Caroline Williams. Otherwise, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 is directed by Jeff Burr. Now, this film, this new line got the rights to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre films because they wanted another series in which they could make the main villain, the star of the film, the way that they had done with A Nightmare on Elm Street with Freddy. And they wanted to do that with Leatherface in this film. So they ended up casting the director of Stepfather 2 to come in and direct this, Jeff Burr. And before the film came out, they did this really, really cool trailer. Some tales are told, then soon forgotten. But a legend is forever. Yeah, um, uh, rumor has it that that's not Ari Mahalnov as Leatherface in that trailer. That's Kane Hodder. Don't know if that's true or not, but a nice bit of trivia there. Um, but that was one hell of a cool um, teaser trailer for this thing. Um, no, no scenes are really shown of it. You get this cool Excalibur reference there. That was just so... I, I knew the movie wasn't going to be like that. But it was just such a fucking cool trailer. Um, and then... Uh, New Line, for whatever fucking reason, um, decided to abide by the MPAA. Because they were probably worried, oh, they're not going to make as much money off of this fucking movie um, by just releasing it unrated. The way that um, George Romero had done with the uh, with Dawn of the Dead and the way that uh, Toby Hooper had done with Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. They weren't willing to do that. So they went to the MPAA and the MPAA fucking shit all over this movie and told them they had to, they'd give them an X rating if they had it the way it was, which there's nothing in this fucking movie that is so bad that it would, oh, require an X rating. Fucking, I hate with a passion the MPAA. Uh, they have they have fucked up so many damn movies from the eighties and the nineties with their shenanigans and bullshit. Um, but New Line finally caved in and just did it. I don't know. I guess they didn't think they could make any uh, box office off of this with it being released like that. So they caved in and cut it down. <sighs> and that was the first time I saw the movie was the shitty ass R-rated version where it's just anytime there's any real good stuff that's going to happen in it. They cut away. I always had a problem with this hit to the head business. 
the tank here, Jeannie stuffed a new wet. I mean, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre was not really violent. Um, well, it was violent, but I mean, it, it, it wasn't. It, it, everything that happened on the screen, you were not seeing as much as you thought you were seeing. That's a cool way to go about it. But this, the way that the MPAA cut it down, I mean, everything, you something starts to happen, cut away. So, yeah, um, the R-rated version of this movie sucks ass. Um, thankfully, you know, it is available now in the unrated version. Three. But the unrated version of this film, it's not even, there's nothing in there that is so bad that the MPAA had to go fucking ballistic and try and give it an X rating. Um, hell, even the work print, I watched that one. Um, and there's nothing in that that makes it something that's worthy of a frickin' X rating on there. It's just stupid that they had such a hatred toward these films that they decided to fuck these films over like that. They made it their mission to do this. But as far as this review goes, I'm focusing on the uh, unrated version. Fuck the R-rated version. Um, the movie, when it came out with this stupid SR rating, it, uh, it didn't do that well at the box office. So, see, New Line should have just stuck to their guns and said, fuck you, we're just going to release it unrated. You know, wouldn't have hurt, probably would have helped, because then they could have promoted it as just ultra-violent movie that where when people went and seen it, you know, it would have gotten them big word of mouth. Just like Dawn of the Dead and just like Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 did. But no. They caved. But, like I said, the unrated version is much better. Um, Overall, I mean, the R-rated version is good story-wise and everything is fine, but um, unrated version is the much be much better cut. Um, Ari Mahelnoff as uh, Leatherface. Very, very good performance in here. Um, he's one of my top um, Leatherfaces of all time. Um, he's just got that size to him. And uh, unlike the size of the character in 1 and 2, which were more heavier set, and bulkier, and, and heftier fat-wise, um, Ari Mahalnoff's leather face is more just solid muscle and just a total badass-looking son of a bitch. Um... And uh, he's he pretty much kicks ass in this film um, as the character, even even with the limp that he has from where the saw cut into his leg in the original film, he is still pretty fucking badass as Leatherface in this. Um, Kate Hodge as uh, Michelle, she is freaking awesome. A great final girl in this film. She just, uh, I loved her in this, and uh, you know, I was I was glad to see her um, get a good role after this in Rapid Fire, alongside Brandon Lee. That was that was another great role for her and everything. But yeah, she uh, she is just excellent as Michelle in this. And then a star on the rise. Viggo Mortensen, 
playing Eddie Tex Sawyer in here. And he is so good. You just knew he was going to be a star. He was a star in the making. And it was basically because uh, Jeff Burr picked him for this film um, to play this role because he saw him in prison prior to this, in which uh, Viggo Mortensen played a major role in that. And uh, so... Yeah, he's he's really good in here as Tex in here. He's the the good-looking boy that you don't expect to be, spoiler alert, a member of the family. But he is. William Butler uh, plays uh, Kate Hodge's uh, kind of boyfriend, I guess, uh, Ryan, in this. He's okay. I mean, William Butler was never really a bad actor in, in films, but I mean, he's just nothing really special in there. I mean, he, he's serviceable. Ken Foray is Benny, though. He, well, as soon as he makes his appearance, he doesn't make his appearance until probably about uh, midway into the film, and whenever he does, he steals the show. It is just so cool. I already mentioned Dawn of the Dead in this, you know, as a uh, a, a film that was released unrated. Well, Ken Foray was in that film, so. <laughs> Joe Unger plays the character of Tinker, um, and he is really good in this. Um, he uh, had previously, before this film, he had played uh, one of the bad guys in uh, Roadhouse with Patrick Swayze. And he was really good in that, too, even though he didn't get as big a role as he gets in this. He also had a very memorable minor role in A Nightmare on Elm Street a few years before this. Joe Unger is always solid in anything he's in. He's just really good. Tom Everett plays the role of Alfredo. And it's so fun seeing him play this creepy, weirdo character because... First thing I saw Tom Everett in was Best of the Best, where he's playing one of the um, instructors, teachers um, in the uh, karate team that James Earl Jones is the coach of. And he was so good in that, being just this, you know, this serious good guy, you know. So seeing him really step it up and play a show that he can play a psycho nut job character like this. That was pretty fun. Um, Miriam Bird Netherly is uh, playing Mama in here, and she is uh, she's uh, serviceable. She's really creepy with the whole voice box where she has to just push it up there to be able to talk and everything. So that was that was an interesting twist with that character to do do that with her because it made her extra creepy, and that's probably why they did it. Um, and then you have uh, Jennifer Banco as uh, the little girl in here that's with the family. And uh, this was uh, after she had played young Tina in Friday the 13th, Part 7, The New Blood. And uh, she is really creepy and everything is this little girl in this. Um, so yeah, good good role in here for her. Um, Tony Hudson plays a character named Sarah who has been tortured by the family and escaped them and has been out living in, in the woods and everything all this time just surviving and uh, the last thing I had seen her in before this film was a comedy film just one of the guys when she played the best friend to Joyce Heiser. <laughs> wow. In fact, I didn't even recognize her in this, and I didn't notice that it was her until I watched, you know, what was, was going over everything and before my review of, for this, and then I realized, wow, that was Tony Hudson. Wow. So, um, and then, of course, you have... Uh, 
Caroline Williams um, playing a reporter at the very beginning of the movie. Um, and some people debate on whether or not this is her reprising her role as Stretch. And Stretch just somehow um, went from being a DJ to being a reporter now. Um, I don't think that's true. I think she's just playing a different character in this. But All right. Nice wish fulfillment, guys. But, yeah. Leatherface, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Um, my rating on this film... I will give this film an 8.5 out of 10. Because it is really good, Texas Chainsaw Massacre film. Especially if you watch it. Don't, do not watch the R-rated version. Do not let the MPA win. If you watch this film, watch. make sure it is the unrated version. So, um, what do you think? What do you think of this film? Do you agree with my rating of this? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Because it really does help this channel out a lot. And we're coming close to the end of the line on this, uh, the threes. Third chapters are almost to uh, an end in this. I've got one more review coming up. So I hope you will stick around for that one. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching.